and now I'll do a mini pull on every kick. We use a mini pull at this point to emphasize that returning to streamline is still our priority. Re-streamlining can be more of a challenge when breathing every cycle. The mini pull makes that easier. I'm trying to keep everything as compact as possible. I'm trying to get just barely below the surface as I streamline. Notice how far forward my hands stay. Stefan has a compact dolphin, but his key skill is lining up his body and spending more time below the surface than above it. Last press stroke drill before doing regular hole stroke is going to be a dolphin drill where I start with a dolphin, take a stroke, and then finish with a dolphin and glide a little bit before I start with a dolphin again. I want to be patient on my outsweep, then quick, almost cat-like in returning to streamline. Hip action contributes to that quickness. Because I'm less supple than a younger person, the dolphin doesn't raise my hips much, but I can feel a difference in power and speed. Notice how long I stay extended and how quickly I return to streamline after each breath. I'm trying to feel my hips move in the same way after the stroke as they do before it. Stefan, being younger and more flexible, gets a more pronounced hip action. Notice how his body wave drives him forward, perhaps as much as his leg thrust. We've tried to illustrate every important detail in the stroke building segments. Here, I'll contrast my stroke, breaststroke for boomers, with Stefan's. Because my back and leg flexibility are just average, I focus more on avoiding drag than on creating propulsion. Smoothly returning my head to streamline, lining up just below the surface, keeping my body line long. Returning quickly to streamline. These are all achievable objectives for any swimmer.
Stefan is great at piercing the water as he lunges. He darts through a small hole in the surface with his arms, head and shoulders. Then he lines up to travel as far as he can just below the surface. A major advantage is how smoothly he gets his head between his arms after breathing. Can you see how he avoids the oncoming current by streamlining just below it? In a regular pool, the area of highest drag is also right at the surface. This section illustrates how to transition from a long, efficient stroke to a faster one by adjusting stroke timing. In two count, Stefan holds his streamline for two seconds, one one thousand, two one thousand, before separating his hands. Spread your hands just as you reach the surface and keep your head in line as you do. This tempo is good for building efficiency and for longer swims or races. In one count pressed, hold your streamline for one one thousand. Your glide will be a bit shallower so you'll return to the surface sooner. Use this tempo to add speed or for shorter distances. In touch and go, spread your hands as soon as your feet touch, but make sure you reach full streamline before you do. This tempo is good for sprint races and short training repeats, but it will really test your ability to keep your stroke smooth and coordinated. In sprint tempo, practice having your hands already at shoulder width by the time your feet touch. It could take months or years to stay efficient at this tempo. Alternating fly and breast cycles will improve both strokes. The outsweep and core body rotation are very similar. But most important is breathing the same way in each. Dave rehearses breaststroke breathing, practicing rhythmic breaths with shoulder lift, not moving his head. 
Next, you can add arm sweeps as Hosh does here. Like Hosh, keep your hands well forward, breathe as your hands turn in, and return your face to water as your hands extend. Lifting your elbows on in-sweep is also important. Dave pauses at the Y position, then spins gently to the I position. Hosh shows quick hands on in-sweep and keeps his body line long. Notice how Shinji sends a gentle wave down to his feet. Watch him build on this in every drill to follow. Laura glides patiently between cycles. As we add a dolphin, Dave hunches his back a bit too much. <laughs> 